Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Back in the 80 degrees, so super nice, full sun, no clouds, just birds. I got the first parking spot closest to the launch, nice. Over here at the seven mile launch. This is the one I'll primarily use for going uh, offshore reef trip. So figure we might as well start here. Going to be testing out the new uh, offshore kayak. So I uh, got most of the things done. I got a bunch of little stuff that I figured out I need to do, but we're good enough for a test drive. So uh, I'm gonna make this a test drive slash prospecting day. Uh, we are gonna head way out to the Gulf side to one of the farther east islands, which is the East Bahia Island Key. And uh, check that out, check that off the list, and then put some miles on the new offshore kayak in red. So that is the plan. All right, here we go. It's all rigged up. I think we're good to go. I got my uh, fish finder mount all set up, so I'll put that on one a little bit. Traveled okay, no problems with the rudder falling. My new little holder. Motor mount's good. Outrigger looks good. So uh, yeah, let's get some water time in. Beautiful day to be fishing the bridge. But we are headed out that way. Got another one of those weird fog days. I think it's because the, the water is still pretty chilly and then the air temps are in the 80s, so it's causing that bit of fog. But out that way are the couple of island roads that I want to hit. I think out that way. So that's where we're going. Look at all those schools of big old barracudas. Man, look at all of them. That's a good sign. But we are here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the East Bahia Key. Uh, I think it's the last island going to the chain of islands to the east of Big Pine. And then east of that, there is nothing <laughs> until you get up to Ala Mirada and the bay there. Uh, I really wanted to put some time, get out here. Uh, it's exactly six miles from, well, you can't see it because the fog, from uh, the um, boat launch at the seven mile bridge. So that's a good test because uh, the reef is basically six miles as well. So that'll give me a good test on getting this guy out here. Ran great, everything's good. So uh, very happy. So I'm gonna do a quick cruise around this island, take a look what's around. And uh, yeah, maybe get the baby Kuda tube out after I saw all those guys. The other reason why I'm prospecting this island in particular is uh, we are in February now. So the uh, big tarpon migration should be starting pretty soon. And the first batch to come through are the Gulf ones coming down the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this island here gets tons of current. So that's going to be kind of an incentive for them because it goes right through to the Seven Mile Bridge. It's got beautiful turtle grass all around it. Very healthy. That current is massive over here. So that's a good thing. That's why those uh, cooters are hanging out there waiting for some easy food. And uh, yeah, it's a fairly variable to some very skinny up front and gets a little bit deeper there's not a deep main channel but there's deeper water here so uh that'll give the uh big fish some security so they can come up here on the flats feed and then go back down to the deeper water if they feel uncomfortable but that'll make it a great fly fishing spot and that's what i'm going to want to do is uh sight fish for those big tarpon so let's do some more prospecting i'm getting excited all right, we circumnavigating that whole island here. Checked it out. It's kind of similar to the other islands in this area. It's a really hard packed bottom. Uh, there's not really any cuts or deep cuts in any of the sides. Um, it doesn't look that there's really any through channels through these uh, this island. Uh, beautiful flats around it. So that's definitely something for the, the spring and summer bonefish permit. Like I talked about the uh, adult tarpon around here. But for now, a lot, a lot, a lot of kudas. But I have no kuda tubes. I don't know what the deal is up with that. So the only thing I could scrounge up was one of my uh, five inch flukes there. And then I didn't have any more ma uh, matching rigging kits, but I did find my, found my uh, tarpon kits, which were seven, nine, and 10 knot. So I used one seven knot to kind of make this rig, added some wire there. So that'll be kind of my uh, temporary Cuda tube. Uh, I only have like I think one or two of these, and that's it. So 
we'll see what happens here. Uh, then I gotta run back because I didn't bring water. So I'll stop back. There's more time. I might go to the uh, Atlantic side, see if there's any uh, uh, pilchards around just to see and then maybe do a little fishing on the bridge. Otherwise call it a day. Uh, I know the things that I need to work on. I need the straps for my front rod holders. So when I'm trolling, if I get a bite, especially in the blue water stuff, they hit hard and I have my bigger rigs out and it basically will just snap these uh, Scotty rod holders out of the um, the holder. It'll just pop the, uh, the teeth off and then the rod holders will flip facing backwards and then the rod will just shoot right out. So I have to have those straps that keep them locked forward. So I gotta do that. I also need my cam cleat for my uh, quick release anchor system. So I had that order, that's supposed to be arriving today. So that's another reason I kind of want to go back. Uh, I need to get pliers on this one because I have my pliers mounted on my other kayak. Um, so far, that's about it that I'm seeing, but uh, we'll keep farting around with it and add more things to the list. Oh, I need to check my fish finder. The uh, depth finder is not working because I don't have any water in that little well. It's not sealed up yet. Um, so I might just, if I could find some deeper water and just hold it in the water and make sure it's registering okay. So that's just something else. But let's see if we can catch a cuda on the makeshift cuda tube. The reason why I went with the fluke is because it's really weedy out here. Plus it's very shallow. So I want something that I could just basically drag right along the grass and not get all snagged up. So I could rig this pretty much all the way weedless and not have to worry about it. And I want a nice sight fishing bite, not just a random one. There's little ones sitting in there. I want the big boys. You can see the action here. There's a bunch of little cuda tubes, cudas. Just jerk it along. I'm a wounded bait fish. I'm wounded. Don't eat me. Look at all these right there. They're kind of suspicious. Whoa. They know I'm here. Look at all of them following me. Get out of here. All right, I think there's some nice sized ones over there. Especially over there by that log. I don't see, oh. Everything else is going by it. They're still there. they see it oh oh he's following it he's following it. oh there he goes <laughs> not the big one I wanted but cool action though oh oh stay out of the trees need to drop anchor oh. <laughs> committed to it You've been wired. You have a seven knot rigging hook in your mouth. You have zero chance of getting away. Get off of that rope. Yay. Not so bad. Just stop. I have other fish to catch. Bigger ones to catch. Oh, fast hands. Ugh, come here. Don't break me off. Turn, open, stop. You ate it good. You ate it very good. All right. Destroyed it. Oh, I don't know if this one's fixable. Dang it, I don't have very many. 
see if we can make it work. All right, we're getting in the zone. I'm seeing a bunch of smaller ones. They're all right here facing up at me. Another month or two, those will be all replaced by bonefish. Bam, bam, bam. I want a bigger chunker. Lobsters. Nice one there. Not my big boy. Nice one though. I don't think he'll chase it. Did you see it? No, he's he's wiry. Very, very wary. Okay, I think I see some decent ones over there. Is that, what is that? Is that a permit? Holy crap, that's a permit. It's a permit, it's a permit, it's a permit. It's a permit. There's right there. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh, dang it. That was my permit. can't tell if that's I think that's it there that's him there oh he's back he's back he's back where did I see him oh he's right I think that's yep that's in there couple of them holy crap there's three of them all along there four of them five of them oh that spooked them. That spooked them. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh, there's a big boy uh, cuda there. Oh, so uh, I salvage this spot for just permit, or should I throw at that dude? It's a big one, it's like really big, right there. Uh, those permit didn't freak out. They just didn't like the bait splash. And there's something else over right over there that's that's not a cuda. I don't know what that is. It's been just hanging out right there. Oh, is he coming? Yeah, he's coming right at me. Oh, wrong rod, wrong rod. Look how big he is. He's shark size. Oh, 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 he's looking at it. He said, nope, too small. I want a cuda tube. There they are, some big ones crossing from left to right. Oh, oh. Oh, that spooked him. He's, can't see where the bait is. Here he comes to say hello and goodbye. Oh. Might have to go to like a bucktail. 
but that's even a bigger splash. Oh, that big boy was there. Took off. Spooked him. That's a nice size one here, though. They're right in your face. Put your nose up at it. Look at that action. What are you doing? This one's been eyeballing me for a while now. Oh, dang it. There's those permit right there. Shoot. Screwing around. Shoot. Screwing around. Right there. Dang it. God. Dang it. I knew it. Lose focus, lose the fish. Stupid kudas. Ah! Stop messing around. Get ready for more permit with the shrimp. Dang it! Man, look at the size of this kuda. Look how wide he is. Like a shark. And he sees me. Want a little shrimp? A little shrimp? Shrimp appetizer? What? Focus, focus. Get back on task. Scanning, scanning. Don't get distracted. Oh, I think there's a, oh, Jesus. There was one sitting right there. I didn't even see him. Oh, come and get it, come and get it. Oh my gosh, it's a big dude. Oh, they're looking for it. Oh. Oh, I don't even know where that first one is. It's already sitting right over here. Okay. All right. Um, I think I'm going to try putting on a bucktail, even though it's going to give a bigger splash. We'll see if that profile makes a difference, and I'll still have this to throw at them as well. All right, got the all about the bait bucktail jig in the brown. I think that's going to give a little bit beefier profile. I just got to watch that because the splash is a bit uh, more harsh. I got to get kind of pretty far away from them and kind of bounce it back, but I think uh, if they're looking to feed, this one will stick out a little bit more than that shrimp. And I'm having a hard time seeing the shrimp to know if I'm in their vicinity, so this will help with that as well. I usually like to tip this with a little piece of shrimp, but I've caught them without it, so there's that big cuda again. All right, I think we got one coming across there. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, that's one. Come on, look for it. Look for it, come on. Oh, he's, he's trying to eat the kudas. Man, they are here. All right, the tide is fully changed and going in the different direction. Uh, as soon as that happened, I haven't seen a single permit. Even the barracudas kind of vanished. So I don't know if it was the slack tide that caused that or the direction of the tide. They might be setting up somewhere else. So I think I'm gonna move on. Um, I wanna test that uh, fish finder, if I could find some deeper water. There's one more island on the way back in, so I might stop off there, take a quick look. But uh, otherwise, very happy with this spot. Well, there she is, all ready to go again. We're back early, ran out of water, or didn't bring any water. <laughs> but I uh, still got some stuff I wanna work on. Uh, got parts on order, so I should have everything done this week and then next week. Uh, I should be available for some, uh, at least some reef and maybe some blue water stuff, so that'll be good. So otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.